Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm actually not going to be showing a glitch. Today, I'm showing a rat hole that's actually on the centre right now. Um, this is actually on the like the centre island, the centre floating island. That's actually on the centre, like I say. Um, and this rat hole is so OP. It's unreadable, like untouchable, basically. Especially if you do build it right. Um, for this uh, rat hole, you are going to need a uh, cryopodded pelagonis. And sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, but yeah, so these are the coordinates for this rat hole, as you can see here. Well, the start of the rat hole is my location now and um, this is the location of the map and then what you're gonna want to do is actually just follow exactly where I go so as you can see you've got the waterfall here and um, that's actually right there and you've got like this archway type cave what you are gonna want to do is actually go to the left of the waterfall where it's like an entrance this like cave type thing here then if you carry on going what you should see to the right where the waterfall is um, as you can see here to the right it should be like a little opening in the rocks now what you are gonna want to do is actually go up inside of these rocks and then once you're up inside of these rocks, if you look right, up and right, you'll actually see another opening. Once you come here, um, as you can see, I put a foundation here just to indicate where that rat hole actually is. Because it's actually really hard to see, obviously, if you're not up close to it. Um, and as you can see right there, that's actually the opening to the rat hole. Now, you can't walk through it. So what you are going to want to do is get the pelagonis and actually throw it through the um, rat hole. It should actually drop down to the floor. Then you're just going to want to whistle it and actually walk backwards until like the pelagonis actually comes to the hole or the entrance of the rat hole. And then walk up to it and then you'll be able to ride it as you can see here. Once you've done this, all you're going to want to do is just turn it around and actually fly through the rat hole as you can see right here in the gameplay. And um, it should lead you to this like bigger opening, what's actually down here. Now you can fully build here no matter what. Um, I'm just going to put pillars down for the start of it because uh, I don't have any foundations on me at the moment. I'll spawn some of them in in a minute. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, you can put foundations or pillars or anything you want down there. You can also come up here now. There's a different, as you can see, there's like two type entrances. Uh, one entrance you can crouch through, and the other entrance, obviously, you are going to need to get the pelagonis through. Um, so you've got double defences really for your turrets and stuff, so that's why it's basically untouchable. And like I say, if you've got your turrets at the first entrance, no one's going to be able to throw that pelagonis inside. Obviously, because the turrets are just going to spray it up and kill them. Um, so there's no way to actually basically get inside of here, especially if you do build it right as well. Um, now, as you can see as well, you've got all this open area at the top, and you can also put um, cliff platforms up here to make different levels of this rat hole. Um, so it's actually quite big as well. And like I say, it's unraidable, so it's actually really OP, um, as you can see here in the gameplay. Uh, and yeah, so this is basically it really. And um, like I say, you've got the two entrances as well, so that's what makes it even more OP, because it's just going to be really hard to read, and like I say, it's unreadable if you do build it right. And um, yeah, as you can see here, you can put um, cliff platforms down for different levels if you really wanted to. And then on this bottom level, you can obviously put your um, foundations down and make something down there if you wanted to. Even if that's just like a bottom defence where you've actually got your base on the cliff platforms, it's completely up to you how you build it, but yeah, you've got all this space anyway. And um, yeah. Uh, in my like preference, I say this is like one of the best rat holes at the moment because, like I say, it's just untouchable basically if you do build it right, and it's just OP. Um, but yeah, now if you do actually want to get out of this rat hole, what you will actually have to do is cryopod the pelagonis and actually do the same method you did to actually get in to get out. If you know what I mean? So go to the entrance, throw the cryopod out, and then whistle it to you and ride it and actually get out that way. Um, now as you can see here. This is the second entrance where you will actually have to crouch to actually get through. And then once you've done this, um, you'll have to obviously get up here with either a grappling hook or if you've got a tech suit or anything like that. And then the actual main entrance is up here, like I say. So you've got so many opportunities to build defences where it's untouchable and unraidable. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you all out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you need any help with any parts of the video. And also, if you do, would like to request a glitchless method, all you have to do is just comment down your request in the comments down below. And I'll try my best to actually work on a method for you guys. And um, yeah, so like I say, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you all out. And like I say, it's unraidable, it's OP, it's just insane basically. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe.